I'm going to do an example of exponential growth problem here involving carbon-14 and half-life. Um, the fact I have here is that the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. And let's say I have a bone that has 80% of its carbon-14 remaining, and I'd like to find the age. Uh, what I can do here is I can use the formula y equals a naught e to the kt. And you'll see different versions of this formula, but this is what um, something similar to what we use in our Algebra 2 classes. Uh, for example, if you look at this formula, when t is equal to 0, that's going to give you e to the 0 power, which of course is 1, which means that when t is equal to 0, a naught is just going to be the initial amount of carbon-14 that you have. Uh, so for example, I could start out with an initial amount of one unit, and then I could look at it in terms of a percentage. For example, when I have one unit, um, the half-life after that 5,730 years goes by, I'm going to have half remaining. So I go from one unit to half a remaining unit. And I can use that to solve for that K value. So I want to take one unit of carbon-14, and I'm going to have a number of years. I'm going to substitute for T, 5,730 years. And after that amount of time, I should have 0.5 units remaining. Well, this is almost written in a form that I can convert to logs. Technically, whatever this coefficient is, you need to divide out. Obviously, in this case, that's not really going to change anything. Uh, but my equation is 0.5 equals E to the 5,730K. Uh, notice I have a base exponent result, which means now I can convert to log form. Okay, uh, that's going to be the log base e of. Remember, a log is equal to the exponent, uh, so that is going to be log base e of 0 0.5 equals 5,730k. Okay, of course that's a natural log there, an ln. So I can take the ln of 0.5. ln of 0.5 is going to be approximately negative 0.6931 equals 5,730k. And then, of course, I can just divide both sides by 7, 5,730. And it gives me this decimal value. That's my k value. Uh, so k is this negative 0 0.0001209, so on. Uh, and so my specific equation for carbon-14 is y equals a naught e to the negative 0 0.00012 power times t substituting back in for k in that original problem. And now I can substitute this in. If I have 80% of my carbon-14 remaining, that's saying when I have one unit here for a naught, after that amount of time goes by, I'm going to have 0.8 remaining. So the equation I want to solve here is 0.8 equals 1 e to the negative 0.0012t power. Okay, technically I need to get rid of this coefficient, divide both sides by 1. Of course, that's just going to leave me with this. And then to solve this again, I can go to log form. And in log form, this is going to be the log base e of my result equals my exponent. And so, of course, that log base e is really the natural log. The natural log of 0.8 is going to be about negative 0.223. So negative 0.223, is equal to negative 0.0012t. I can divide both sides by that value. And so I'll divide by negative 0.00012. And I get a final answer of approximately 1,859.52 years. So 
T is approximately 1859.5 years. And that would be the age of the bone that I've discovered.